In this video, I'll show you how to transform your Obsidian Vault into a powerful calorie and nutritional tracker using a plugin I built called Macros. You can install Macros via the Brat plugin while it awaits community listing. Just copy the GitHub repo link found in the description below and add it via Brat. Once Macros is installed, we need to configure a few essential settings. Start by selecting a folder where your nutritional data will be stored. This is required for food entries when using the live search feature. It's also a good idea to set your personal nutrition targets. For this demo, I'll be using the default values. Now that our settings are configured, let's explore one of Macros core features the live search. This tool fetches real-time nutritional data from the Fat Secret API. In this example, I've searched for an apple, and as you can see, a list of matching results appears. When we select an item, its nutritional details are automatically saved into a markdown file. Next, let's use the nutritional data we just saved by rendering it with the main macros processor. To do this, type three backticks followed by the word macros and assign it an ID. I'll use today's date as an example. Once you switch to reading mode, the processor will render your macros table automatically. In the top right corner of the table header, you'll see a plus icon. Clicking it opens a modal where you can add food items or meal templates directly into your macros table. You can also adjust the serving size to your preference. Now let's create a meal template that we can reuse inside the macros processor. Head back into the plugin settings and navigate to the meal template section. Click the add meal template button to get started. Let's give our template a name. I'll use breakfast for this example. Below you'll find a drop down menu where you can select food items to include in your meal. These items are pulled directly from the nutritional data you've already saved. Let's now add the meal template we just created to the macros table to see it in action. As we explore the macros main processor further, you'll notice the dashboard above the table. This provides a clear summary of your current macros. Hovering over each card reveals a tooltip with additional insights, helping you quickly assess whether you're staying on track with your nutrition targets. You can also adjust the quantity of any food item directly from the table by clicking on its serving size cell. This makes it easy to tweak pre-configured meals perfect for when you modify a recipe or use different portions. It's a flexible feature that reflects the reality of day-to-day -day meal prep when ingredients and quantities often vary. Let's explore the macros calc processor. This processor allows us to aggregate multiple table IDs together. In this example, I have already set up a table ID with yesterday's date on a different page. And in this tutorial, we have already set up a macros table with today's date. To calculate both tables together, we can call the macros calc processor by typing three backticks followed by macros calc. Then we specify the IDs we want to aggregate together. When we go back into reading mode, you can see the macros calc table being rendered. It looks similar to our main processor, but the benefit to this is that it allows you to create summaries on multiple IDs. 
You can also expand or collapse each table ID to view its individual contents, giving you a detailed breakdown when needed. Just below the summary table, you'll see a dynamic chart powered by Chart.js. This provides a clear visual of how your macros like protein, carbs and fats are trending over time. Finally, let's take a look at the Macros PC processor. Similar to the Macros Calc processor, it aggregates multiple table IDs. But instead of a line chart, it renders your data as a pie chart for quick visual insight. You can include multiple IDs to compare your macro distribution across different days or meals. And if you prefer a personalized look, you can customize the chart colors in the settings to match your theme or style. Before we wrap up, I want to show you a practical use case using two popular Obsidian plugins, Templator and Daily Notes. Here you can see my Daily Note template. When I create a new Daily Note, this template automatically inserts a macro table with today's date as the ID. It also includes the Macros Calc and Macros PC processors to summarize and visualize all macro data logged throughout the week. I've included a link to my Templator template in the video description. Feel free to use it as a starting point and customize it to suit your workflow. And that wraps up our overview of the Macros plugin for Obsidian. Whether you're tracking a single meal or analyzing trends over weeks, Macros gives you the flexibility and tools to stay on top of your nutrition right inside of your notes. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give this plugin a star on GitHub and don't forget to subscribe for future updates and tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy tracking.